Hello Capricorn, this is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts with your love and life reading focused on the first half of October from the 1st through the 15th. General reading as always guys, it won't resonate with every single person. So please do take from this whatever makes sense for you and let the rest go. If you're interested in your own personal private reading at this time, all of that information is down below and I will of course include a link to all of the card decks and creators that you see here today Capricorn. These are the three decks we'll be using for your focus messages. The first one is my self-created deck, the Heart Space Oracle, and then we'll grab a message from the Twin Flame Poetic Confessions deck by Sister Moon Tarot. And lastly, we'll grab one from the Behind the Moon Oracle, Illusions in Love Revealed deck by Calico Moon Oracle. All right, Cancer. No, oh, Cancer. I just finished Cancer. Sorry, Capricorn. <laughs> I'm getting my signs mixed up. All right, no, this is definitely a Capricorn reading. So let's focus on your heart space message when it comes to your person. We are focusing on twin flames and soulmates and separation. Do they still think of you, miss you, love you? So let's take a look at your first message here when it comes to your person, Capricorn. Love may be blind, but when it comes to you, I have 20-20 vision. Okay, so they see very clearly about the situation, the connection with you. Capricorn, perhaps you might be able to resonate with that for yourself too. All right, so love may be blind, but not when it comes to this connection. All right, so let's add to this from the Twin Flame Poetic Confessions deck. I'd like to grab this one here. We have fear. I don't know if I'll ever find someone to replace you, but I'm also afraid of missing out on my youth. Okay, whatever I pick up from this message, I kind of do feel that somebody might be going through that midlife crisis where they feel like they're missing out on their youth and possibly going after relationships that they know they shouldn't even be entertaining. This could also turn into third party situations. That's coming through for some people. Okay, so let's see, of course, how this all comes together. All right, Capricorn, let's add to this with a message from the Behind the Moon Oracle deck. All right, I'm kind of guided to this one here. I see a beautiful life for us in the distant future. Okay, which is great. And going back to that very first message, love may be blind, but when it comes to you, I have 2020 vision. I see a beautiful life for us in the distant future. So. When it comes to your person, Capricorn, they have a very clear vision of what it is that they're wanting to manifest with you in the future. Wow. All right. So let's add to this and let's see if you're feeling the same way, if you're open to that as well. Let's add to this. This is on the Horizon Oracle by Jennifer Aquarius Tarot. So let's add to this. Let's see what else. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Capricorn and love and life, first half of October. Twin flames and soulmates and separation. Whoops, got this card right here and that one. We've got astral travel. So even though you're not together, what is presenting itself here is there could be astral travel that's going on here between the two of you. And look at the next message, twin flames. This person... Capricorn that you are in separation from is your twin flame. Maybe you knew that, maybe you didn't. Or maybe you had your suspicions that you guys were on a twin flame journey. So twin flames, astral traveling, connecting in the fifth dimension for now. Look at this, in another world distance. And for this twin flame connection, this other world could be the fifth dimension is what I'm feeling here. That's where you guys are because in the 3D world, you're not together. Part of the challenge here too, Capricorn, is either yourself or your person might have detached from this for whatever reason. You have to go your separate ways and somebody ended up getting into another relationship. But... It could not compare to what you guys had. Couldn't even come close. What else, please? We have free, okay? What I pick up from this Capricorn is free will. You both have your own free will to do with your life. 
whatever it is that you want. You're not chained to anything or anyone. You can make your own decisions, whatever feels right for you, and so can this person. And also, you could have broken free from this relationship because you felt the need to. Something wasn't going right in this relationship and you guys went your separate ways. But the angels are coming through here, protecting you guys, watching out for you on this journey. It hasn't always been easy, but your angels, your spirit guides, they're watching out for you. Spread your wings, okay? And I feel, isn't that beautiful? Angel protection and then spread your wings. Your angels are definitely guiding you on this journey, Capricorn, and your person as well. And part of that energy of spreading your wings is just doing your own thing and seeing what makes you happy, you know, whether that includes going into another completely different direction from where you were traveling before when you were with this person, or this could also be tapped into your life's purpose, whatever it is that you choose to do that fulfills you, your passion. Let's grab one more here. And then we have clinging, okay? We cling to hope, we cling to people, you know, so however way that's coming through here. Your person, whoever it is that you're thinking about, Capricorn for this reading, maybe they're still clinging on to you, even if it is through astral travel because they're not wanting to let you go. Especially if you guys are twin flames, they will forever feel that connection with you and you will as well. And then lastly, we've got incoming love. Okay, so what I feel from this could be communication, whether through a text message, an email, an actual card that you receive, some form of, I feel, written communication from your person where they're going to let you know where they're at, how they're feeling, how they see the connection since you guys have last connected. They could reach out to you on social media also, if that applies if you guys still follow each other that way. So let's add to this. This is the Love Potion Oracle, another deck by Jennifer Aquarius Tarot. So angels and spirit guides, please, for Capricorn and love and life first half of October. What else do we need to know here, please, when it comes to this connection? Mirrored feelings. Okay, that mirror soul is a twin flame connection. You guys are feeling the same way. You're actually on the same page here. So what happened? Why did you guys break up? We have freedom. Okay, so free, freedom. That's no accident. You guys needed to go your separate ways, perhaps to find yourself, to spread your wings, as it says here. Maybe it just wasn't the right time. But look at this next message, guys. Wanting to reconcile. In another world in distance, fifth dimension, I feel. You guys are already connecting there, but in order to reconcile, that needs to happen in the 3D world, you know, to be able to see each other, touch each other, love each other up close and personal. This is an interesting message. Trapped, tied up falling right below free. So if anyone was trapped in a situation in another relationship, for example, where either yourself or your person wasn't happy, they need to be able to break free from that, perhaps in order to be free to be with you or vice versa. We have excitement and spice. So it could have been a very exciting time when you guys were together. The spice reference here for me could certainly be the passion, the sexual chemistry between the two of you, the love that you had for each other. Okay. And then we have cold energy and slow progress. Maybe things are a little bit cold between the two of you for now. But slow progress might actually be a good thing because slow progress can lead towards a lasting connection. And then we've got confronting issues, which is so necessary. In order to make this work moving forward, Capricorn, you guys have to deal with whatever these issues are that broke you guys up to begin with. So let's grab one more here. 
And look at that, happily ever after. Okay, so confront these issues. And there is this need, just this desire to reconcile. You can still have a very happy outcome with this person, Capricorn. All right, so let's grab some tarot messages and add to this. This is my new deck, guys, the Tarot Teacher. I've been introducing this a lot lately, and it now does come in the gold edging as well as the non-gold edging for those who are not interested in that gold edge. Um, and I have created this deck for those who are interested in wanting to learn tarot for yourselves, making it very easy to learn. And on the back, it's got upright and reversed meanings for each card, so there's no second guessing. You know right away what each card means, okay? So if that's something you're interested in, I have included that link to my deck shop as well as everyone's deck shop down below for all the cards featured here today. All right, Capricorn, what else do we need to know here? Angels and spirit guides. Is there a chance for this happily ever after to take root for you guys to come together? This is reversed, okay? We've got the devil card coming up reverse. Now, this is your own energy, Capricorn. And this is actually a good card coming up in the reverse because in the reverse, it's freedom. Freedom from restraints, okay? Here's the restraints right here, trapped, tied up. Whatever it is that you feel trapped by, Capricorn, you have the capability of freeing yourself, okay? Breaking from addictions. The devil card is tapped into bondage and addictions breaking free from that so that's a good thing releasing detaching independence okay so if there's a card that needs to come up reversed the devil card is a good one and then we've got the page of wands coming through so fire energy here for some of you guys leo aries sagittarius this is good news right here Pages do typically deliver messages, and we've got incoming love messages coming through here, I feel. Good news from your person, Capricorn, in the form of a letter, either a phone call or even a text, or you hear something from somebody that they're wanting to talk to you. But this page is very cheerful, very free-spirited. There's that reference to free again. This page is fearless. This is somebody who's not afraid to rush in and just really grab hold of what it is that they're wanting. And my feminines, if this is your masculine right here, they're going to rush in and let you know exactly how they're feeling. And believe it or not, this is another card tapped into freedom. This is somebody who wants their freedom away from anything toxic, anything that's keeping their hands tied, okay? So if you yourself relate to that Capricorn, you know what it is that you need to break free from. And then we've got the chariot coming up next. This is Cancer. Some of you guys might be focused on a Cancer. This is movement, movement forward. This does represent action success a triumphant outcome here overcoming challenges capricorn and part of that is confronting these issues that might be contributing to why things are cold between the two of you for now okay so things might be moving slowly for now but it's not going to be that way forever especially with the energy of the chariot coming in Look at this. We've got the Ace of Wands. So more fire, new beginnings, more good news coming in. New opportunities of growth in this partnership, this relationship. There's this creative spark that's attached to this Ace of Wands. So your person might be very creative with how they communicate with you, how they bring about this reconciliation, this offer of a reconciliation. The Ace of Wands is about finding new passion, okay, and perhaps reviving this relationship could certainly be restoring and renewing the passion that you guys had once shared so we've got a couple of action cards right next to each other and some of you guys might have to travel to see this person if they live far away from you you know there could be an actual literal distance between the two of you and then we've got the two of cups right here beautiful water energy for some of you guys cancer scorpio pisces this is a card of partnerships 
two people that are very compatible, a soulmate bond, very harmonious, bringing things back into balance and unity, a mutual attraction for sure between the two of you. For sure. And with a reconnection here, Capricorn, this could even lead towards marriage for some of you guys. If you've ever wanted this happily ever after, and if that includes marriage, you might just get it. Okay, so let's add to this with some messages from my Sugar and Spice Oracle. A little naughty, a little nice, Capricorn. Let's take a look and see which message you get from this deck. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Capricorn. Love and life, first half of October. All right, we've got marshmallows coming through. I feel like I'm on cloud nine when I'm with you. I love your sense of humor, our lighthearted conversations, your pillowy lips and tasty kisses. Your love makes me feel like I'm floating on air. You have the sweetest smile that brightens up my day and night. What a beautiful message here, Capricorn. And somebody might really enjoy marshmallows too. What else, please? We have peaches, okay, coming through for some of you guys. If all you want is a booty call, your butt better move along because you're barking up the wrong tree. This booty is meant for bigger and better things, okay? So that could have been part of the reason why some of you guys decided to detach and free yourself from a relationship because it was just a booty call, okay? And if that is the case, then, you know, totally understandable why you guys are not together. And this person could have certainly learned their lessons and they're no longer wanting that and they've moved on from being this type of person and what they're wanting now is this happily ever after with you okay so it's your call capricorn if you're wanting this person back of course but you know you guys are coming through as a twin flame and we've got soulmate references here too so okay so take it for how it feels right for you we have cannoli coming through here you've had your eye on me for the longest i know you can't wait to get your lips wrapped around me you can dive right in and take a big bite or just suck on me till you get a mouthful of sweet cream so tasty it'll make your eyes roll back with delight all right first of all somebody might really enjoy cannolis <laughs> and certainly the sexual innuendos from this particular message i mean it's written all over this card the sexual chemistry between the two of you could have certainly been very passionate and strong okay and wanting more of the, that excitement that type of interaction with you capricorn and then we have caramel coming through also you know what they say right too much of a good thing can be bad for you but not when it comes to us you can pour yourself all over me every second of every day. I love how sweet you are inside and out. You can wrap me up in your arms whenever you want. I'll be forever content as long as we're together. Okay, so that's what your person's coming through with. So take whatever part of these makes sense for you. All right, so peaches, marshmallows, cannoli, and caramel. That is what's coming through. All right, guys, so let's add to this with some messages from the romance angels let's see what else needs to come through here for you angels and spirit guides please for capricorn and love and life first half of october twin flames and soulmates and separation what we do know is that they want to reconcile they see a beautiful life for the both of you in the distant future and if you feel the same way you can certainly have that Angels and spirit guides, please. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations are much needed between the two of you. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. That is definitely needed here. Look at this. We have an engagement. Okay. So this person, I feel, if what they were after before, as this card state, states, is just a booty call, and if it was just something casual that they were looking for and maybe you did give in to that before but what they're wanting now is something solid and ready to commit to a partnership here 
What else, please, for Capricorn? Keep an open mind, okay? This person that you're focused on here, Capricorn, there is a reference to a soulmate bond in this particular message. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation. And basically what this is coming through with is that this person is unlike anyone else that you've ever met, dated, been interested in. They just don't fit that typical description of what you had in mind for your ideal mate. And yet they came into your life and ended up possibly being the love of your life. But now you guys are in separation, you're not together, and they're coming through as not only a twin flame, but also a soulmate. So it's a very special soul connection, actually, that the two of you share. And look at this, we now have the wedding card coming through. So engagement, wedding, proposals, certainly part of your future for some of you guys. They wanna be able to build a life with you, Capricorn. And look at this very soon okay they might be able to reach out to you sooner rather than later it might come unexpectedly also okay and this is no accident because this is coming through again free yourself we've got freedom free free yourself detach from situations capricorn that has you trapped that has your hands tied okay so you know exactly what it is that you need to detach from whether that's tied into your love life or something in your life where you need to let go. You'll know what that is referring to for those of you that that's making sense for. Okay, so let's add to this, guys, with some dialogue messages. This is the 5D Love Messages deck, Volume 1 by Calico Moon. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Capricorn. In love and life, first half of October, from the 1st through the 15th. What do they want to say to you, Capricorn? What do you want to say to them? I'm too focused on other things right now, okay? And if that is the case, let them focus on whatever it is that's occupying their time right now. Because what you're wanting from a partner to reconnect with Capricorn is somebody who's laser focused on you, the connection, the future, okay? And perhaps what it is that they're focused on right now is what they know to be freeing themselves from, okay? So I feel your person might be dealing with a situation where their hands are tied. And that doesn't necessarily mean another person. It could just be a situation. It could be tied into family, an, a friendship, some other situation where they know that it's toxic, they don't belong there, they want to break free from it. It keeps popping up for some reason, the need to be free, okay? So in order for you guys to be together, this person or even you might need to free yourself from a situation that's toxic, that's not good for you. So if they're focused or if you're focused on other things right now, that might actually be a good thing because that's giving you the opportunity to work on that, whatever it is. And then this one says no one else can compare to you. Exactly right. There's only one you. There's only one connection that you guys are connecting with in this way. Nobody else can compare. Maybe they tried to explore other options, other relationships, and nothing could compare to this relationship. And perhaps, Capricorn, this is something that you might have done yourself, entertained other options to see what else is out there. And there's nothing wrong with that, you know, to just be able to see what else is out there. But nothing compares to the connection that you felt with this person. And then we are connecting in the 5D, makes a lot of sense here. We've got astral travel right there next message i still have hope that we will be together okay so as i mentioned from this particular clinging message i just feel like they're clinging on to the hope that you guys will be able to work this out wow i can't believe i let you get away 
So whoever resonates with this, either yourself, your person, or both of you, I can't believe I'll let you get away. But, you know, there is a chance to revive this, to bring it back to life. The desire to reconcile, it's already here. We know that. There might be very slow progress to be able to manifest this because there are issues that need to be confronted and addressed. But that doesn't mean you guys can't work it through. I feel you can. And then we have songs are reminding me of you, okay? So there are particular songs, music that this person runs across, or this could even apply to you, Cancer. Why do I keep saying Cancer? <laughs> Some of you guys might be focused on a Cancer. I apologize. I just completed the Cancer reading. Okay, so clearly this is a Capricorn reading. Oh my goodness. It's been a long day, guys. Sorry. But yeah, songs are reminding me of you that's what it says okay so that could apply to both of you ultimately all right guys so let's add to this with some additional messages here let's grab some cards from my heart and soul love oracle deck capricorn angels and spirit guides please for Capricorn in love and life, first half of October. All right, let's see what else, guys. Let's see. Angels and spirit guides, is there a chance to revive this, to reconcile? Let's see. ascension okay that is coming through here we've hit rock bottom we have nowhere to go but up we've already been through the storm the hard times the gut-wrenching conversations the reality of this is that we still love each other let's get back into our divine alignment i'm ready to experience the highest level of unconditional love with you let's do this you know let's do this Oh my God. Whoa. And you know, as it says, you guys have hit rock bottom. If you want to reconcile, there's only one way to do this. But the angels are definitely watching out for you and protecting you on this journey. We have the unexpected coming forward, Capricorn. There's something about flowers that just pulls at our heartstrings, birthdays, anniversaries, special occasions. But the best flowers are the unexpected ones, the flowers that make you feel extra loved on an ordinary day. When you're special, someone takes time to let you know you are loved. And perhaps you can relate to this. You know, you might have received flowers from your person just out of the blue, just to let you know that you are appreciated. Or this could be something that you did for them. What else, please? Angels and spirit guides for Capricorn. We do have locked out. Okay, so somebody might have locked out the other person. You could have done this. They could have done this to you. So this card reads, please let me in. I can't be there for you the way you want me to be if you don't let me in. I know you've been hurt in the past, but that's not me. I'm here for you to heal that broken heart of yours. Please tear down these walls you've built around us. Let me in. Okay. So part of the reason perhaps why there is this message is because of this fear that somebody has that they're going to get hurt. So if that applies to you, Capricorn, maybe that's why it's coming through here in this reading. And for those who have experienced heartbreak from toxic relationships that you had to free yourself from, maybe that's why you're closed off and afraid to really open yourself up to the right kind of love. And that's something that you need to heal from and to address it. And sometimes that simply takes time. Let's grab one or two more. We have steps. I've been hurt so many times. By people, by love, by hopes and dreams that never came to be. 
I could stay I could stay where I'm comfortable, confined within my own walls, so I'll never hurt again, or I can hand it over to a higher power to the universe to guide me to my next chapter. Baby steps. Yes, absolutely. So, you know, somebody wants to come in. And in order for this to be unlocked, you know, it, it requires somebody to be open to take these baby steps to allow this to, to flow and for you guys to be able to work this out, to open up that door of opportunity. Wow. And this is the bottom of the deck, inner strength. So I feel this, especially for my feminines. If you resonate with this, I gave my all, everything I had inside me, but it wasn't enough. Was it ever enough? Am I good enough? Why am I standing here heartbroken? I don't deserve this. I'll be all right. I'm strong. This pain is trying to shatter me. I won't let it. I will overcome. So perhaps this is what you had to free yourself from. Okay. You had to heal from this, which is why it's taking time. Perhaps why things are cold between you and this person. They've been through one hell of a journey. They've been through people that have hurt them. And so when things ended up not going well between the two of you, that's when all of their defenses went up, understandably so. And they could have blocked you. They could have locked you out of their life and they're afraid. You could be afraid too, you know, but if you guys can work together to bring about this ascension, then there is a chance that this can be fixed. Let's grab a couple more here. We have Kismet. You and I were two lost souls destined to meet in this lifetime. It doesn't matter how many wrong turns or choices we've made before we came into each other's lives. All that matters is that in the end, we got it right. We found each other. Okay? So you guys were destined to meet in this lifetime, Capricorn. Yes, you're in separation for now. But... Your person sees a beautiful life with the two of you together in the distant future. So if that's something that you see for yourself too, you know, going back to this very first message, love may be blind, but when it comes to you, I have 2020 vision. If you have a clear vision of what it is that you're wanting with this person and they have a clear vision of what they want and you guys are on the same page, you can absolutely heal from the past of whatever happened between the two of you to work on bringing this back together and have this ascension in the partnership. And last message, faith, okay? Life has a way of bringing us to our knees when we lose faith in a situation, in someone, in ourselves. The most heartfelt prayers are born from those moments of heartache, desperation, and hope. Absolutely. So if you're able to relate to that, your prayers, I feel, they have been heard and the universe will respond to answer those prayers when the time is right. Okay, so let's close this out, guys, with some final messages from your angels. This particular deck doesn't always pertain to love and romance, but this is ultimately a love and life reading. So let's take a look and see what the final messages are from your angels here. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Capricorn. In love and life, some final guidance. Final messages from your angels. First half of October. We have Akasha coming through here. You are a spiritual teacher. You have the ability to counsel others and help them awaken their spiritual gifts and divine life mission. So if you relate to this, Capricorn, if you have these gifts, Angel Akasha is certainly here helping you through this journey when it comes to sharing that gift. What else, please? We have Bethany. When you take excellent care of yourself, everybody benefits. Give yourself a relaxing treat today, such as a massage, sea salt bath, or pedicure. You know, this is all about self-care right here. And sometimes we forget that. 
sometimes we forget that we need that type of care you know so if that's something that you would enjoy absolutely go for it what else please for capricorn we have opal your children on earth and in heaven are happy and well cared for by god and the angels so this is a message for those of you especially who have lost children and your children that are here with you they're being blessed as a result of perhaps the children that you haven't had with you in the 3d world you know their spirit is here guiding your other children and they're blessed by god and the angels okay that they are happy and they are well cared for if that's something for some of you guys if you've wondered that that message needed to come through for some people okay and then we have the bottom of the deck which is crystal have faith and hope because there is something positive and new on the horizon that you can't yet see okay so that's another reference here to having hope okay don't lose faith because you can't see it yet it's around the corner or it's it's about to surface trust in the angels a higher power the universe to be able to manifest this very positive outcome for you not just in regard to your love life either capricorn this applies to other areas of your life your other relationships your friendships something that you're dealing with that might be challenging money matters your health whatever it is okay have faith and hope something good is coming in for you okay so that's what i've got for you guys this time around i do hope whatever part of it resonated with you that it offered you some guidance that you could use at this point in time and if you're interested in your own personal private reading all of that info is down below that's it for now guys thank you so very much and i'll see you next time take care